Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Honorable Principal Sir, most respected parents, learned colleagues, dear students, and participants of the day. It has been very enriching experience for all of us, I wish, because we got an opportunity to listen almost uh, 36 topics in today's competition. If I talk about Group B, topics were common of day-to-day -day experience and the participants spoke very well, except, as Madam pointed out, uh, there were some grammatical errors and most of them were related to use of verb form. Participants of Group B, please pay attention. Uh, we have mistakes in your delivery, your speech, verb form. Like if you are talking something about in the past tense, you are narrating incident of past tense and using verb in the present tense. So sequence of tense that was also lacking somewhere. And second most prominent mistake, they were related to number, singular number and plural number. That is also connected with the verb form. So this you all need to improve. Remaining your content, it was praiseworthy. You all have thought very well as already comparers and just here Madam pointed out that this very competition is temporary without preparation in advance. You are given topic, you think and speak. So what is important in extemporary competition? Your thinking ability, presentation skill, body language, eye contact, creativity and Finally, clarity in your thoughts. How to prioritize your thoughts means sequencing of thoughts. So these all we noticed very well, except somewhere like body language and eye contact. This I had pointed out in previous competition also, that when we are speaking in front of audience, so we should try to move our eyes and that is eye contact. Body language, we should be confident because you are speaking, you have prepared very well. Whatever you have prepared, that is only final. So there should be no fear. Whatever you are speaking, they all are listening. I thank, I would like to thank all the audience that you all were very patient listener today. Sadha Vanam Labhate Gyanam.